<laughs> How's it going? State Representative Christian Manuel, I'm the State Representative for Texas House District 22, which encompasses Beaumont, Port Arthur, Port Natchez, Groves, Cheek, China, and Nome. And today we are here for the press conference for a great company, a minority company that is coming in, which is giving us another opportunity to have more economic resources that are coming in from people who are from our area, people who are here to support us, which is vastly important. And which is even more important and even greater is that we are going to be one of the communities that are going to be showing a partnership between oil and gas and renewable energies. And with an African-American company, this is amazing. This is so important, not just for economic resources, but to show that we have people who are involved in our community who want to make our community better and the community that they come from. This is going to open up job opportunities. This is going to put us in the forefront to making sure that people see that we can talk the talk, we can walk the walk, and we can move forward into the future. So I am so happy to be here to support this, to support more economic growth in our community, and something that is just quite frankly, at the very essence, it is a positive move forward. We have people from our area who have come back, who are bringing jobs, that is something that we've been asking for, something that people have been saying that we need, and we have people in our area who have not forgotten us, and that goes to show we are not forgotten. We are here to move forward, so I'm super excited about it. making sure that the port is involved. 
that is important because this is not a company coming in saying, we want you to do this. This is a company coming in saying, we want you to work with us. They give us an example to always say to any company coming forward is, we love that you're gonna bring jobs. We wanna make sure that you're still a part of the community. But it is showing how much importance it is. And it makes my job easier when I can go back to my colleagues and say, let me tell you about a company that's actually doing everything that you're saying that you would like people to do in mm. your communities. This is a great blueprint right here in Port Arthur. God told me something different this time that I didn't tell you all and something that you couldn't see. Uh, there were people there too, in my mind. The importance of this project, uh, if you looked at all throughout these pamphlets that they're giving you all, you will see all the numbers, you would see how it's going to better enhance energy and uh, green and clean energy. We could talk about all of that. And when I thought I was coming to be a commissioner at the Port of Port Arthur, because I knew logistics so well, but I knew that I met some people that knew logistics a little bit better than me. And anything that we do and anything that we say has to be about the people. See, in my, in my diagram, Mama, you couldn't see the people, but they was in my mind, right? Mm -hmm. Here, the people, you can see the people of Port Arthur. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, we know that Port Arthur, you look around, you can see the blight of the city, and you can see that it is an impoverished town. But when you meet the people, you'll see this, this city is inhabited yeah. with some wealthy people, mm -hmm. with some royal people, with some rich people. Yeah. You, can, you can meet us, you can talk about our culture, we cook better than anybody else. Mm -hmm. right. You can talk about the way that we develop relationships. It's going to be a lifetime relationship if we develop a relationship with you. Offshore wind is, is a strategic approach. Uh, such modeling can help access the potential impacts of local employment, of employment which was talked about earlier, um, supply chains, and overall economy. Community development, which is economic, political, and social. You have all those stakeholders here at the table, and I look forward to being able to support not only local businesses in Port Arthur, but also the, the, the social portion, which is the community. It runs parallel with the oil and gas industries, but this particular industry is gonna to help to further reduce emissions and show that we can create clean, renewable energy and still heat our homes and cool our homes. So I'm, as an environmental activist for the last 23 years here in the city of Port Arthur, I've worked very diligently with the EPA to uh, TCEQ to try to keep these emissions down. This is definitely a major plus for our city, and I believe it's gonna be a strong economic boost, which is gonna bring equity to our whole stress community. So thank you guys so much for what's happening here today, and I'm looking forward to working with you guys in any capacity which I can do so. Thank you, sir. Hi, my name is Keith Herring out of Houston, Texas. Um, I had the opportunity to come up to Port Arthur to see what diligence has going on. Um, it's so amazing, it's so powerful to see something um, new coming to the city, um, you know, black owned, right? Um, I just wanna say thank you for the opportunity for having me and I love what you guys got going on, it's phenomenal and I look forward to see what's to come. Clay Roy, president of the Port Arthur Branch NAACP, just wanted to make mention of a few things. Uh, uh, thankfully that uh, the 60th year anniversary of the March on Washington is on today to, to allow and let the people know how great of an issue we had when it came down to uh, uh, civil rights. And as of today, which is marking this press conference on the environmental and pushing for wind turbines and the offshore drilling services by uh, Gallians, it, Gillians, I'm sorry. We just uh, are glad to be here in support of, uh, to let the people know in Port Arthur that we are standing by with and for them in all areas to make this year a better place for uh, uh, the citizens of Port Arthur. So we represent uh, the city, uh, the citizens, and we ask that you all come along with us. Please join and become a member of the Port Arthur Branch NAACP uh, um, by going on to our website 
and uh, uh, applying and uh, paying for your membership. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Hi, my name is Sean Granger. I am the Chief Operating Officer for Grace Hub, which is the Community Benefits Partner for Diligence. Uh, we are just happy that we have just completed the press conference here announcing the new renewable energy projects that we are bringing here to Port Arthur, Texas. We are here to employ and to build back into the city. Uh, and this is a great partnership. It's great for our city. It's great for our industry. It's great for our country. And uh, we're just happy to go ahead and get this thing started. And we look forward to doing business in Port Arthur for a long time. My name is Hilton Kelly, and I'm the founder and director of the Community Empower and Development Association here in the city of Port Arthur, Texas. Uh, today, this press conference concerning um, the offshore uh, wind farm that's going to be built and this new port, this is something that Port Arthur needs. This is something that's going to help build equity in our communities and bring more revenues to the city of Port Arthur. I'm super excited about it because this is an industry that's a green energy uh, producer. And this is what we've been campaigning for for the last 23 years is to reduce the carbon footprint and all the emissions that are going into our air, not only does it damage the air, but it also damages the, the land and it also hurts the people. But yet, this is a way in which we can have parallel energies along with the oil and gas, but also we're gonna be getting electrical power, clean electrical power without any additional emissions going into the environment. So I'm super excited about this new port. I'm super excited about the wind farm that's gonna be built off the coast and the jobs that it's gonna bring. So uh, we are looking forward to this project getting started and we are ready to say, go Port Arthur.